good afternoon. We're at Horse World Live with Natasha Baker. She's our medal winner for the Paralympic team at the Olympics in London this summer, this past summer, 2012. We've got some questions. We've got some time to get to know Natasha a little better. So when did you actually start competing? When was that? Um, I started competing uh, when I was nine years old with the Riding for the Disabled Association and then realized that I wanted to do dressage and then started my dressage competitions when I was 10. Were you a nervy rider to begin with when you did your with. first test? Absolutely, I was petrified that I'd keep forgetting my test. Um, even though I knew I knew it, when I went in I thought, oh, where am I going and you know, what am I meant to be doing? And you know, you just kind of get over that with the more practice that you do, uh, you know, you get to know your tests and you just get more confident with it. So you progressed from riding at local shows to a bigger arena with the Paralympics. Tell us a little bit about that journey. Um, I started doing international competitions when I was 14. Um, I did the junior competitions and won the un over, no, sorry, under 18 international championships, which was pretty cool. And then um, I started competing internationally with senior competitions when I was 15. Uh, the earliest I could do it and went out and really got the bug. I won my first international competition at 16 and had the national anthem played for me and that oh, was just amazing. And I thought, no, I really have to do the Paralympics now. Um, and then I went to the European Games last year and came home with the two gold medals, which was just incredible. Well, going yeah. back to the origins, tell us a little bit about how you train your horses. I know you have a unique way for them to learn to respond to you. What is that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when I was 14 months old, I contracted transverse myelitis. So uh, it's nerve damage across a section of my spine. And it just basically means I can't really use my legs very well. I have a, a walking stick for very short distances and a cool pink scooter for, uh, for longer ones. Um, but when I'm on a horse, I can't use my legs at all. So I have to rely on my voice and my seat aids. Uh, so when I get, first get a horse, obviously they're trained to the use of your leg. Um, so I have to kind of take a little bit of time and, and retrain them to the use of my voice and my seat. So fast forwarding to 2012 in London and you got to hear the national anthem twice. Yes. That must have been, I mean, you must have had a lot of Kleenex for that. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm normally a really, really emotional person. But I think with everything that happened in London, I was so overwhelmed and I had so many emotions running through me. You know, I was so shocked that A, I was in London at the Paralympic Games, B, that I'd won. And, uh, and you know, having a gold medal around my neck, something that I'd worked for for 12 years. Um, it, it, I was just completely overcome with emotion and the crowd were just incredible. They were chanting my name and, and Cabral's name and it was just so, so incredible. So I did have a few tears but I wasn't as emotional as I thought I was going to be because I was just so overwhelmed by everything. Now you scooped the gold medal from the German competitor and I know that in Great Britain, Dressage, Germany, Great Britain, it's always been a long rivalry, so that must have been a very sort of exciting and gratifying moment. Absolutely, um, it was amazing because not only did I win the medal, but I also got the Paralympic record, and, uh, and no great British rider has actually ever won an individual gold medal in grade two, so that was record breaking as well, so it was just amazing, and uh, like to, to be able to achieve that at such a young age as well, like, you know, I'm only 22 and hopefully I've got a long career ahead of me, but the Germans are always up there, they've always got the most incredible horses, and you know, they're, they're really tough competition, they're always moving things on, so you know, although I've won these two gold medals, I can't get complacent now, I've just got to keep getting better. Thanks for you in the future, what lies ahead for you in the future, what, what, is, what is going to be um, your typical day? Natasha as you prepare for Rio. Rio, absolutely. Four years time we uh, we have a four year cycle within dressage. So we've had the Paralympics this year, and then we'll have the Europeans next year, then the World Games in twenty fourteen and then another Europeans in twenty fifteen and then Rio in twenty sixteen. So We've always got a competition to aim for, which is really good. You know, we've got a competition plan, which is pretty much the same every year. So I do two or three internationals per year, um, a couple abroad and one in this country. Um, and it's pretty intense. Now, for those of us who don't uh, understand the intricacies of the Paris, tell us what the divisions are. How are they broken down? Uh, we have five grades. So grade 1A is the most disabled and grade 4 is the least disabled. And within each grade, we have three tests. We have a team test, an individual test, and a freestyle test. So 
So we're competing against people that have got similar disabilities to us, so it's very, very fair across the board. Um, and whenever we compete, we always compete within our grade. We can never go down a grade, but we could, if we wanted the challenge, go up a grade. You must be a great inspiration for a lot of young people who want to move on in the Paris. Do you do some teaching and coaching and some seminars? Um, I do lots of motivational speeches. Um, I've been into a lot of schools and um, pony clubs, riding clubs. Um, I haven't actually taught as yet, but that's definitely on my plan. Um, you know, it's just be great to be able to go out there and inspire so many people. Like I was inspired when I was 10 years old, and if I can do that for one person, then you know I'm really happy. I think you've done it for more than one person. <laughs> and where is your home? Um, I'm right near Heathrow Airport. Oh, okay. Well, that's easy yeah. to get in and out for your international. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's been absolutely a pleasure and an honour to speak to you, and I Thank know you. I speak on behalf of all. Great Britain and all of our riding enthusiasts that you inspire everyone. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.